Welcome to Sleepy Eyes. I am your host, Varga. I take you on a journey in the dark of the night with warm tales. Take a moment to relax your body and mind with the current calmness. Breathe deeply, feel the energy inside, and let go of any tiredness. Put aside the past and focus on the peacefulness of the present moment. Recognize any tension in your body. Allow it to fade away and unwind. Discover your inner peace and simply unwind in the tranquility of now. Before going to sleep, prepare to read a story comfortably in this peaceful setting. Let the magic of words captivate you as you get lost in a tale or story. With the warmth from this peace and relaxation, your sleep will become even more serene. Close your eyes, embark on a journey with a touch of words. Let each word guide you a bit deeper toward the essence of your inner peace. Now, relax and enjoy the pleasure of getting lost in the enchanting world of the story before drifting into sleep. Encapsulator Weavings of Lost Cosmos by Sleepy Eyes In the vast ocean of stars, planet Aeolus rested, its surface charred by a recent starburst. Orion Calum hovered in his spacecraft near the dying planet. The sun yielded an ethereal glow as it cascaded through the wreckage of what was once a thriving civilization. An introspective silence consumed the cockpit as encapsulating machinery whirred to life with a melodious hum. Time was of essence. His fingers moved on the touchscreen, orchestrating the huge AI-driven probes that roved the planet's ruins, hunting for the remnants of the Aeolians' knowledge and culture. Atlas, his age-old AI companion, processed these virtual relics into digital capsules. I do not understand why you're so determined to preserve them, Atlas inquired, its synthesized voice echoing in the spacecraft. They could, fundamentally, jeopardize our existence, couldn't they? Orion's face, illuminated by the glow of the screens, contorted into a contemplative frown. Each culture, each civilization, Atlas, he began a soft gravelly tone cutting through the ship's hum, carries a universe of experiences, a tapestry interwoven with unique knowledge, wisdom, and failures. He gestured at the fragmented planet. By encapsulating them, we give future generations a chance to learn, better themselves, and hopefully protect themselves from oblivion. Atlas processed this contemplation in silence, while Orion directed the probes to a massive structure, the Grand Library of Aeolus. He maneuvered skillfully, avoiding the collapsing infrastructure, extracting ancient scripts, languages, blueprints, poems, and journals. Each extraction bled colors of the lost civilization into the space vessel, greens of vegetation, blues of sea creatures, flaming oranges of unfathomable stellar technology, the vibrant hues of their clothing, all reflected in Orion's hazel eyes, a kaleidoscope of passion and melancholy. His knowledge transcended most beings, fueled by an unquenchable thirst for knowledge and a soft spot for these dying civilizations. His mission was a solitary one, yet it never felt lonely. His commitment painted him brave, his respect towards each species rendered him honorable, and his relentless pursuit of knowledge defined him. As the spacecraft shook violently, interrupting his thoughts, alarms blaring, it was a relic too massive for the probes to handle. A monolithic statue of a revered Aeolian seer crumbled onto them. His heartbeat thundered in his ears as he maneuvered, saving the probes just in time. Orion. Atlas's voice trembled for the first time. The star is entering its final phase. We should leave. But Orion's gaze was fixed on one last relic, the sacred crystal of Owari, known to hold the prophetic wisdom of Aeolus. No amount of risk could deter him. He dispatched the final probe, 
praying to the stars for a few more minutes. Atlas was right. The star gave one final burst, engulfing the planet in a beautiful, yet horrific spectacle. The cockpit shook, the protective shields straining under the energy explosion. Just when hope seemed lost, the final probe, holding the crystal, docked back. Exhausted but victorious, Orion maneuvered his vessel away from the today's cataclysm, eyes moist with unsaid words. He watched Aeolus, once a vibrant testament to evolution and technology, until it disappeared into the cosmos forever. Back in the cockpit, Orion stared at the crystal, its luminescent gleam reflecting in his eyes. We did it, Atlas, he whispered, holding it to his chest. The connection to Aeolus, its knowledge and wisdom seemed alive again, encapsulated within the unfathomable depths of the crystal, ready for the cosmos to unravel. Orion Kalem, the encapsulator, once again proved himself to be the bearer of lost civilizations, their knowledge, culture, and existence forever etched in the thousands of capsules aboard his ship. Regardless of the tolls, his journey persisted, echoing his vow across the starways, that none shall be forgotten.